Hey, what's going on guys? It's Two Step Productions and I'm finally back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play PC games on Mac, uh, specifically in Steam, but it also works with other independent games as well. And to do that, you're going to use something called Crossover. Um, and it, what it allows you to do is run those .exe files um, on your Mac. And so there's a free trial that you can do for uh, two weeks, or you can buy it. Uh, it's fifty dollars, but there are actually uh, sales for it. I got mine for twelve dollars, I believe, and it's definitely worth it if you want to be able to play uh, PC games on your Mac. And so, uh, let me show you uh, what I mean by that. So you can see I'm in Steam right now on my Mac. So I have Steam open, and there's this game called Stone Hearth, which I can't play. There's no play button. Like if I go to Call of Duty 4, I can click play because it's built for Mac. But Stonehearth, which I've put a couple of videos on my channel um, about, I cannot play that on a Mac using Steam. So what I can do is I can open up Crossover, uh, which I have open right here, and I can click install a Windows application and scroll down through some of the stuff that they have um, chosen. And you can also do uh, select an installer if you or an installer if it's not in the list the application that you want to run um, so say you want to run an independent game that you already have downloaded the .exe file for you can select um, the file from your computer and run it that way but Steam's already on the list and all you would have to do is click install and uh, follow the instructions for that I already have Steam installed so I'm gonna I'm not gonna go through the download process again, but uh, then all you would have to do is open it up, and so you'll see I have Steam open right here, um, and it's different than this Steam right here. So once this loads, uh, which it can take a while, it's not exactly a foolproof thing, but uh, see it says connecting to Steam account, and um, sorry guys I. Uh, had to cut that because it needed me to enter my password but anyways I'm back in I entered in my password and now I have Steam open on here and the first time you run it it's gonna ask you guys to um, enter your password and if you have Steam protect on it might ask you to um, send a code from um, or receive a code from your phone or email just like you do every time you log into Steam but anyways, now I have it all open up or opened up, and uh, as you can see, I have all my games here that I downloaded or that were on my uh, Steam, and I only have one downloaded for the purpose of this, but it's Stone Hearth. And so, if you remember, uh, Stone Hearth here, I can't click play. There's no play button. Um, and however, when I uh, have this Steam open through Crossover. So let me just minimize that, sorry. I have this play button, and obviously that means I can play it. So let's click play, and um, Stoneheart's gonna open up here, and the music comes on. Uh, it's a bit loud, but I'm gonna change that uh, quickly here if I can. So, oh, all right, so anyways, um, I know the sound's a bit loud, but I can, go in here and uh, click new game, and choose a normal game, and as you've seen before, I can uh, go through and play the game just like I was on a PC, so let's go ahead and click this, and this means that I'll be getting back to uh, Stoneheart videos pretty soon here, um, now that I can play PC games on my Mac, and it's really very simple to do, um, it's definitely worth $50 in my opinion. Um, However, I only paid $12 for it, and you can probably find it for a cheap price like that as well. I'll put the link to where I got it for uh, $12 in the description. But as this loads up, I just want to prove to you guys that I can play the full game, uh, just like I was on a PC. So let's start our civilization here. And, uh, sure, sounds good as a name. And so the frame rate is not necessarily the best, but in a game like Stonehearth, uh, that isn't extremely important. Um, but anyways, you've seen that that all works, so I'm actually going to exit out of Steam now, 
and um, go back here and just take a look at some of the other games that you can play so or the other things you can download so there are a lot of older games here but also some newer ones like Cube World and there's all the versions of Microsoft Office you have uh, World of Tanks, Terraria which now with the newest version you don't it's Mac supported so you don't even need that but Elder Scrolls uh, Skyrim you really can do pretty much anything and if it's not on this list you can always go uh, into here and whoops, uh, choose um, your own application to download or to install. So it's really uh, very easy to do. It's uh, a lot easier than some of the things like uh, Wine Bottler, even though it is built on uh, Wine Bottler. So you can see here it shows your bottles, but it just makes it a lot easier for people who don't um, want to necessarily deal with all of the uh, typing in code to your console and I tried to set that up for Stonehearth and it didn't even end up working so just a lot of stuff like that uh, this makes it a lot easier to do so anyways if you guys enjoyed the video I hope uh, feel free to leave a like if you didn't feel free to leave a dislike um, comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos and as always guys have a good day